That's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, a little bit of a different review here. This is for the Netflix documentary series Formula One Drive to Survive. Now, I've actually been kind of a recluse Formula One fan for a long time. I did watch it a bit, especially during the Michael Schumacher era, and I've always enjoyed films about it. Not that driven one, though, by Sylvester Stallone. That one was terrible. But this is a really great documentary series because it gives you a personality to all the drivers now unless you actually go out and look up their interviews and whatnot this gives you a personal introduction to all of these drivers and it's actually really cool just to see not only the rivalry that are between the teams but also between the teammates themselves for instance the two drivers for for Red Bull, instance, those two are fighting each other all the time. Same for Air Force in India in the uh, series. What's really cool, though, too, is that this took place last year. So all of this stuff is just fresh. So now we're looking at the stats of what the drivers have done now. One of the drivers, Red Bull, went to Renault, and it's actually been a very big failure for him so far. It hasn't worked out in his favor. However, his previous teammate is now one of the best drivers in the entire division. And then you look at other ones like Air Force India, for instance, isn't there. But it also talks about different teams and just the sort of uh, the mentality, the workmanship and just the stress and the constant, constant adrenaline that is happening within the Formula One series. I do like that it focuses on the, the mid tier teams, the teams that are kind of fighting for third, fourth and fifth because Ferrari and and especially Mercedes are barely in the documentary at all and it's not really needed because Lewis Hamilton is an absolute king he is he won the formula 1 championship last year i think by the 16th or the 17th race in the series that's how many points he had i'm happy that it doesn't because you would just be watching a dude just destroying people what you're seeing with this series is the struggle and the the lengths that these guys will go to to be the best of the best that they can be and I really did enjoy it I did very much like the a lot of the dashboard camera really brings you into the intensity of these drivers which sometimes has pulled me out when watching the races because you're not staying with one racer the whole time now each episode is usually focused on one team sometimes they've crossed over for instance the Red Bull guys but there are times where they'll go back a little bit in time just to show how the other teams made it to the final uh, the final stage. But it's really, really cool just to see all of this behind the scenes stuff. And there's definitely some stuff that you would think that they wouldn't want to be seen or heard, especially, especially heard. But I think that's what makes this a little bit more of a human experience and I think it's what makes me really want to get back into Formula One, especially right now with how intense, how dramatic and just how in-depth this series was. And I very much look forward to a, a second season if they do one, which will be most likely about this season that's happening right now. I'm not going to rate this review. I don't really ever give reviews for documentary series, but I would definitely suggest watching this. Even if you are slightly a fan of Formula One, you will be interested in this. These episodes are very quick and concise. I think the longest one is 41 minutes and there's 10 of them and it's very, very fun great production quality and some very in-depth looks uh, at these racers so i would definitely suggest it anyways guys that's all for me if you like this review leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise that's all for me see you guys next time thanks for watching the video you're probably wondering who i am my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. <sniffs> Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.